the one thing before actually we go with texturing i forgot about this let's make a cool roots on that tree well right here we already have it some root flare but we don't really have it any roots kind of showing and if we want to have it like wicked tree we want to have it a wicked um uh, roots and actually in many things in many plants root it is like a branches in some cases like with tomato plant you bury the uh, leaves and you bury branches so those small segments underground and they become roots so it's kind of interesting things going with plants and what we're we going to do same things we're going to create another branches but we'll put them down on the ground and for this we'll need it use it our top trunk from here so right here trunk and we need connect let's click on this hamburger to open so we can have it another element and we will just go to use this drawing child because we don't use it anymore we'll go to use this well i'm going to select trunk go select one and we add it look our branches is already here well let's go to call them roots and we also change the color maybe to the darker blue there you go this is our roots now we already worked before with taking the uh, positioning and align remember a little bit to the top now we're going opposite so in our child let's actually double time rename this i want to be sure it's called properly so it's called roots our child roots well we're going inside and let's see what we can do here okay trunk roots we have our blending enable so yes we'll add a little bit blending to these okay and inside the roots let's we're going to change by the way what i did i actually disconnect from deleted one because i don't want it and i create new one so i can access to all segments because for some reason sometimes when we draw it's assigned different nodes to this and we don't want to use this so i don't want to use that one delete it i just create new root because this is what i want i want in my root and my children have it all access to every property and most important start in the end so we want to take end and bring end down down to here let's go take 0 0.001 so we'll just put it on almost end also we don't want 30 let's go with a zero and now you can see they're just going around next let's go ahead and spread them so 125 and we'll put it 90 and right here we'll put it 137 and i'm just making up those numbers you can have it as you want it so i just create this way and i always you can just click around and see which one work oh, actually this may work more interesting it's almost like symmetrical spreading on those roots well okay let's add more roots to this let's go eight and we'll just add two so we'll have it all this different stuff next we need to modify link of them and also size we'll do this in a second when we jump to our roots but let's just verify what we have here so we have it end start which is very good um we have it also placement which is very nice we have it our rotational we could work with rotation on an axis but we'll see if we do this in a um, future but right now here we don't need to worry about trapezium well pruning we don't care about this and influence on a segment we could a um, little bit effect so it's meaning our roots will affect on this when it's blending and actually you know what? let's enable blending let's go closer and see how's our blending so we'll just go and yeah there you go child width like around there So we kind of just a little bit more blending. I think that will work good. With exception, maybe start an end zone. So right here, we have it ending here. Let's go put it 0 0.05. Woo, look, because it's gone down, I put it too much in zero there. 
Okay, we'll go at 0 0.01. There you go. And here will be 0. one it's kind of minus there you go yeah that that's a little bit better i think maybe even more should we yeah let's let's adjust a little bit more so we'll bring a little bit higher them and here like this just make a roots a little bit like up down and you can see how they're going okay let's go see our randomness we can pop up a little bit just to add randomization to everything our orientation um, we could uh, actually drop them a little bit more down to the ground like this but now problem is that they're hiding away so for them allowed not to hide we will need to modify interactions with the environment okay We've done this let's go now to our route itself and it's 10 meters i don't think it's 10 meters i think we need to go like maybe five meters and let's go to say two meters a link and now our radi radius is inherited and it's 50. i think it should be a little bit less maybe about 30. okay and also we'll just add 10 percent and let's go 25 like this Okay, let's go see what we have. There you go. You can see we have a kind of weird tree is going on. Yeah, I think our influence going. Oh yeah, and look right here, breaking on this. So this is why we do randomness to fix this. And it's with a blending. So we'll go blending reduction here. A little bit of reduction on the top. Move away, blend materials. So we'll just a little bit effect removing. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Okay, jumping back to our roots. Well, we modify link and white stand. We don't need. Oh, that is what I did. I did it 20 instead 10. Okay, so that is will explain. Okay, next, let's go ahead. We have it in here 10, which is fine minimum radius we want to also take and maybe you know to like this so our roots look a little bit more like our roots okay trapezium we can work with this go up and oh look on that that is a wicked tree this is a tree that you don't want mess messing with <laughs> that is a very funny tree well we don't need that it's kind of fun to play but we'll just go a little bit lower like this okay um we leave it everything here let's go inside the influence and what i want to do one i want to increase the twisting you remember how we did twist i want to actually have it quite a bit twist on our root maybe yeah let's go 1.5 here and we'll add maybe 0.5 randomness so our <laughs> look how the roots look kind of funny We'll drop them lower later when we start playing and we want to work with interactions so i enable and we want to set interact with the ground so this is what happening um it's meaning when they will go in the ground they will kind of lock you can see and they will stay they try not to go in some cases they will go but they will come back so it's kind of a nice way to do um so that roots does not go too much in the ground okay i think we actually need to change a little bit on the distribution because i put it 0 0.5 here and and instead let's go put 0 0.01 and here 0 0.02 so we'll just bring them a little bit lower oh there you go look see our roots a little bit more interesting of course we cannot take general um, trunk for our branch and we can work a little bit more on um i think it will be in a trunk itself yes in a trunk itself in a segment mode where we have our root flares here we can also just uh, reduce that don't make that much with height 
So then we'll have a little bit more interesting look. Well, of course, we drop down on a trapezium. We need to bring back some of those roots from below. And uh, this is actually will help us with transformations and influence, I think. Yeah, influence with where we want it. We did before local base, so it's what we're going to enable. But now we want to change and see how they're going up. We'll just put them like this right here, a little bit up. And there now we have it, our roots going a little bit better. OK. Let's go to segment. Look on a trapezium a little bit more. Transformation. I think those look cool. OK, there's our tree. Let's play around. And you can see we have this wicked, wicked roots kind of going. You know, I'm not sure if I like those roots. Hmm. We can leave them just for the experimental reasons. Or we can trim them. Maybe we should trim. You know, maybe it's a too many of those roots. Maybe what instead eight, we should have it like three and one. So we should have it just a few roots here. And also we need to put them a little bit down. So let's go ahead, remove randomness and put it zero one. Just drop everything on the ground. Okay, and we'll take our angle and angle them down like this. Okay. Well we still have it kind of funky right in this area. Yeah, this is kind of very funky looking one. Let's see if it all pop up this way. Well, they're kind of going. I'm not sure if I like it. You know, it's interesting things. Those so roots is look very cool if you're creating like um, Halloween tree or something with very big. But I think this is kind of almost like a fruit tree. Yes. And then we have those roots. Uh, it's hard to say. I, I show you how to create roots. But I think I may be going to cut them off. You know, I don't think they belong to the tree. Well, OK, we'll just go for now and just disconnect. We may come back in a later. And so far, you can see I have already two nodes that is a rogue. So that there we can use them. But just as an example, not maybe as this. Well, I think right now at this point, we show how to create roots, which we Certainly, maybe one go use it, but we're ready to texturing. So let's go ahead and do that.